All right, so today we're gonna be talking about Steph Curry. All my niggas falling like Curry. My son Curry been going left lately. Well, he's been going left for a long time. But recently, I feel like Curry's been on a, on a different level. Like this last playoff run, it's been going crazy, bro. And honestly, I think it's time to have that talk, bro. We gotta have that talk. To be honest, me personally, I've been thought Steph Curry is the best point guard to ever play the game. But you know, certain accolades was prohibiting him from, from taking that title from my boy, my boy Maggie. Maggie John John, you know? But I feel like now, it's like, it gotta be solidified. He got that finals MVP. He did what he had to do. And now I feel like he on autopilot. Everything after this is just a, a big plus sign next to his name. Like, and he's been doing he's been doing curry things forever, bro. When you look at his the games that he had back in what was that 2016 against the Thunder, he was shooting from half. I thought it was in the regular season, but Brelski, like, <laughs> is that crazy, bro? Like a shooter like that. Up until like recently when he came in the league, we have never seen somebody that could just launch from the moon like that, bro. Like, it doesn't matter, yo. As soon as Steph Curry passes half court, you gotta guard him, bro. Or you're or you're you're trolling. Like, as soon as he passes that half court line, he's a threat to shoot the ball. I know every team he plays against, the players be having nightmares before the before they the game in the next day, bro. Like, they going to sleep like, yo, bro. What am I gonna do about this light skin, bro? Like he's going left on me, bro. And sometimes he be having low cold streaks. Like he'll, he'll have a quarter or two or a half where he don't make nothing. And you'll be thinking in the back of your head, like, got him. Like, ah, this is the one right here. Like, this is the one. My son Curry, he's, he's, he's trash. He's garbage. We got this game. We feeling mad confident, like John Morant. <laughs> <laughs> and the Grizzlies, bro. I know they was mad confident some games when Curry was tweaking. But he'll come back out and he'll go for 30 and a quarter. And he'll be like, ah. <laughs> he'll be like, ah. <laughs> I thought it was sweet. It's not sweet over here. I think it's the baby face, bro. They be thinking, they be thinking stuff is sweet because of the baby face. But no, sir. He's not sweet at all, bro. Nah, what a time out. What am I doing here? Well, I'm counting fruit. Boys, but yeah, Steph Curry, bro. He'll be having like cold streaks in a game and then out of nowhere, he will just go nuclear, bro. And you'll be sitting back after the game like, when did he score 30? One quarter, Brelski. He scored it in five minutes. Hold your head though, because it happened to the best of them. It happened to Lebronski, let go, you know? So. Can't really hang your head on stuff like that, but he just got his fourth ring. And it's not really too much you could tell him now after that fourth, bro. It was a lot of chitter chatter about how, oh, KD, they had the, the KD. Warrior. I was one of them, bro. Nah, actually, I wasn't one of them. I was tight that the KD Warriors like was a thing, that it existed. But it was for only the simple fact that I never thought Steph needed a player like that. Like, he never needed a KD ever like all he needed was an andrew wiggins <laughs> you know all he needed was an andrew wiggins, bro. <laughs> we're not going to talk about jordan pool because he's garbage you now, he's not garbage you but he's garbage like but he's young though he'll have time to he'll have time to build and that's another thing like he don't they don't gotta the warriors don't gotta stop here like they have a solid roster and even if they make a little changes to their roster, like I know, I know they probably in the sweepstakes for KD to come back again. But that that's probably a bad idea, not only for the Warriors, but for KD's legacy as a whole. Like, not KD, but for Steph's legacy as a whole. Like, because they're just gonna look at him as a player that was just on a bunch of super teams and stuff like that. When in reality, he didn't need him. He never needed him, bro. I know Draymond went on a podcast and said, oh, we never would have beat LeBron and the Cavs if KD would have never came. And I mean, there may be some truth to that or whatever, but we've seen what happened to the Cavs like a, a, a literally a season after. So they would have went on like a little drought, but I feel like they would be right back in the same position they are today. Winning chips, doing what Steph Curry does, what Clay does, what Draymond does. 
and they just got a good coaching system and all of that but none of that matters without the centerpiece and he's been the centerpiece with kd without kd it's always steph the whole team when he was on the court like i said earlier you gotta gravitate to steph barry you cannot leave him open at all bro because he gets one little butt crack of daylight and he's ooting it he's gonna oot your face off bro if you allow him to he's straight ooting your cheeks oh, no he's straight ooting your cheeks off bro and that's something you gotta respect like i said don't hold your head on that because it happens to the best of them and when you're that good you gotta come in that conversation like i said before magic it's your time broski you held the title for a minute I'm not gonna lie you had the title for years but it's time to give that up it's time to give that up big dog you could be you could you calm being top two bro don't get little don't get greedy now feel me top two is still a great feat to have you're one of the two best point guards ever don't hold your head king you know but shoot steph curry go point guard and second obviously magic johnson but shoot they better not go get kd though <laughs> i know i was just talking about that but that's still that's still waiting on my mind they cannot go get no no bro no bro no bro i'm teeing up i'm teeing up all right yes sir but yeah he better not go get kd let stuff do his thing or whatever bro you could you could you could go into rebuild mode or whatever and try to look for other options when Steph retired. But for right now, keep letting him go left. He's not showing any signs of stopping now. So gel on him, bro. And let's just talk a little bit more about what makes him the best point guard ever. Because I feel like it's a lot more than just his shooting. Like like as his off ball, like you can have anyone bring up the ball on the Warriors because Steph Curry is such a selfless player in itself. Like you could have Draymond bring up the ball, Clay, Jordan Poole, it don't matter because his off ball is so impeccable. He could run around screens, he could get himself open without the ball. And then once he, that butt crack of daylight, bro, and it's lights out for all your dogs, okay? It's lights out, bro. You better pray. Oh my God, I'm off the map. I'm off the map. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know I was off the map, bro. What was I saying, bro? Oh yeah, they got mad pivotal pieces right now. They got my boy Kamunga. They got Wiggy. They got Jordan Poole. They have a lot of young, solid players that they can continue to build, just like they did Draymond, Steph, and Clay. That's the second generation now. You could build Andrew Wiggins, Jordan Poole, and Kaminga. And you could just keep doing it. They have a really good system put in place right now. And that's even better for Steph Curry because as he continues to age, he's not going to have to carry a lot of the load. Let's go into some some con some other contenders or some other players who have who have been climbing the ranks of, as of late. And one of those players is Yanni, Auntie, Koopa. <laughs> <laughs> My son Yanni, Auntie Koopa. <laughs> My son, he's definitely been climbing the ranks. Defensive player of the year awards, MVP awards. He got a chip, score 50 and a chip. What, tell him what, bro? My son, Yanni, not Giannis. Yanni is a different animal. Telling ya. Yanni is a different animal, bro. And shoot. I don't know what position you classify him as, but whatever position that is, he's top five, bro. Not gonna lie to you. He's top five. I don't care what you say. He's top five. Simple. And if you, I don't even know if you can debate that at this point. Like he's he's proven time and time again that he is a an animal, bro. Like he's a problem, a huge problem for every offense. They want to say, oh, but he can't shoot. Oh, but he can't do this. Oh, don't focus on the things he can't do. Focus on stopping the things that he does do on a regular basis, bro. And no one's been shown to be able to stop that. So why should he change his game? You know. I'm not changing my game for nobody if you can't stop what I'm doing now. Are you down? Or stupid? Which one? Like, what? It's like telling Shaq to back up to the three-point line and start shooting three-pointers. Excuse me? Are you down? <laughs> like, hello? No, sir. Like, 
you stop me and I'll worry about honing my skills on, on my side, bro. But you focus on stopping what I got to show you first, bro. Eh? Like, don't tweak too hard. And don't give me no don't give me no arguments about this year's playoffs because we all know the facts. Chris Middleton, aka Fishbowl Midi, was not playing, bro. My son Yanni was out there dolly, had a hard fought hard hard fought series with the Celtics. That was a hard fought series. They actually kinda choked that series because they should have won. They had to take care of that game six. They didn't end up taking care of that game six and it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is on that one, bro. Could have made the finies. No. Clutch up. Clutch up. Clutch up. Clutch up. Don't play. Get up there. He's baiting too. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> but yeah, the Bucks would have been a way harder matchup for the Warriors than the Celtics were. Just because of how they play. They, they got nice interior defenders. And then they got my son, Drew Holly. Drew Holly on the perimeter would have been a problem for Steph Clay and Jordan Poole. Because he don't play. And then they got exceptional role players. My son Connaughton. Wesley Matthews. Bobby Portis. Brooke Lopez. All defenders that can score on the other end too. So I don't know. If the Bucks would have found a way to make it there. We would be looking at Yanni. A little bit higher on that totem pole. You feel me? A little bit higher on that totem pole bro. Not gonna hold you. Would have been a little higher up there. Not with Bronny. You feel me? Not with Lego, but he definitely would have been up there. But you know, like I, like we all know, that didn't happen, obviously. And we got Steph for his fourth ring. I'm not gonna lie, if Steph didn't get end up getting this fourth ring and he didn't get the Finals MVP, a lot of people would be looking at him a lot differently than they look at him now. But I think that would be completely unwarranted because. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, every time, bro. I haven't got a dub yet, bro. It's been, it's been like three days. <laughs> I have not got a dub yet, bro. I'm about to skate out of here, though. Bottom line of the story, YouTube video, slam de boob lap, sneak lap, boop bop. Steph Curry is number one point guard. He's been dumbing for years now. Put some respect on his name. And shoot. Don't do drugs. Slam de. <laughs>